Wag two, wag two. Um, well, it, it, it's about the writing, isn't it? It's about the writing because you've yes. got the, um, you know, you've got the ideas and you've got the performing, but the middle ground is the freaking writing. Yes. You can't hear me. Yes. I said it's about the writing because um, all around me are these dedicated writers. They live for those literary moments. Me, I'm a dedicated fighter and words, words have always been my opponent from the very first moment. Look, in the beginning was the word and the word had flow. Knew where it had to go, guided by a primary impulse along the path of least resistance on a mission to illuminate the crown. It was these words that carried light at the speed of sound. And these words, when recited, vibrated. And the people who heard them elated, delighted. You know you can't fight it. When you gasp in the dark and you grasp where the light is, when these words hit the center and your soul gets excited. Yes. Magical symbols and metaphors, opening subconscious doors. Sages from across the ages carved these words into cave walls and then scribed onto scrolls by ancient scholars and bards telling stories of stars. It was these words that kept us connected with that from which we are carved. But instead of traveling direct, as you'd expect, these words got intercepted by the intellect, got taken out of context and attached to a false pretext, and then summarized into grotesque, muted versions of their original self. These words stripped of their wealth and then worked into Bible lessons that told us lies about our blessings. Yes. Yes. In the beginning were these flaky white scratch words scraped, screeching in protest onto blackboards. Not that I ever took any notice, see? Yo, pedagogy got groggy. I'd fall asleep, I was that bored. Teacher talk time, teacher talk time was my fall asleep time. Time to dream up rhymes. <laughs> now, I've been doing this for like uh, about five years now, and I'm aware that there's some poets, they avoid using rhyme. I'm aware of this fact. The question remains though, <laughs> why the fuck do they do that? <laughs> In the beginning was Dr. Seuss. He put to use a rhyme and repetition ruse that first triggered the juice that whetted the appetite that I now constantly fight to satisfy. Because now it's down to me to get the right words in the right freaking order. If I'm to get out these words that are bouncing around in my head, there's no way around it. I've got to keep on inking and laying down lead till I can recite these words that will bring a joy that these words will never explain. So when you find yourself at a loss for words, well, there's these words that will offer direction, make a selection, and don't watch a saliva, you ain't gonna drown, these words will revive you. <laughs> now, I know, I know, I know these words ain't the most eloquent. If elegance is a flight of a swan, then I'm more your freaking elephant. But you know what? You know what? I wrote these words. And I hope some of these words hit the spot. If not, I'm fucked, because these words are all I got. Well, these words and the friends I share them with, because you're the pith. You're the core of my existence. Mm. So these words may need a little assistance. Mm. Not to get caught up on the weeds and the rocks, the communication, the blocks. Look, with a little paddle on your part, these words can hit the mark. See, these words ain't for the head, they're for the heart. And I know they're not perfect, but yo, let's make a start. Yeah.